When We Flew Away is a novel for middle grade readers. It's about the life of Anne Frank before her family went into hiding and the events chronicled in the diary of Anne Frank. Hi, I'm Dan Skinner and welcome to the Kids Bookshelf. Ahead, we'll learn about the novel and I'll talk with the author about the inspiration behind it. Alice Hoffman is the highly acclaimed author of over 30 novels for readers of all ages, including The Dove Keepers, The Marriage of Opposites, Practical Magic, Incantation, The Foretelling, and most recently, The Invisible Hour, just to name a few. Her previous novels for Scholastic Press include Aquamarine, which was made into a major motion picture. She joins us to talk about the historical novel written for 8 to 12 year olds, When We Flew Away. It's a novel of Anne Frank before the diary. Alice, welcome to the Kids Bookshelf. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. Well, before we discuss this book specifically, tell us a bit about your introduction to Anne Frank when you first read the diary of Anne Frank and what kind of impact that had on you. Well, I first read it when I was about 12. And it was a time when in school we were not reading any female writers. So for me to read a book that was by written by a young girl who was Jewish that felt very personal um, was a very mind-blowing experience for me. And for me, I think it was the first time I thought, well, maybe I could be a writer. Maybe it was a possibility. When did you get this spark, this idea to try to tell the story of Anne Frank's life before the events that she describes in her diary? Well, this book came about in a very different way than any other book I've ever been involved with in that um, Scholastic Publishing came to me to ask me. They had they had decided they wanted to do this book, and they had talked to the Anne Frank House already to talk about how important it was to tell Anne's story and to keep her story alive. And then they came to me to ask me if I would be interested in writing a novel that took place before the family went into hiding. Can you give us a, a brief overview of what readers are going to find here as you tell this story of her younger life? Yeah, well, I think it's a story that not that many people know, and it's a story that um, I certainly didn't know about how her family had lived before they went into the attic and how normal, really, their life was in the Netherlands. They were refugees from Germany, and, um, and there were many refugees in the Netherlands at that time. It was a neutral country. They felt safe there. They felt like it was a good choice to make to, to um, be immigrants there. And how normal her life was. And one of the, the most interesting parts for me was to kind of follow in her footsteps. When I went over to Amsterdam, the Anne Frank house took me to the apartment that, where the family lived before they went into hiding. And I went to her school and, uh, you know, went to her the park that she went to, walked past the bookstore where the diary was bought. bought. And I just felt this connection and closeness to her. Um, and then, you know, and then their lives changed completely all of a sudden, and yet it was slow at the same time. So you said in, in some ways she was a normal child of those times, but what were you able to glean about her personality and what she was like? Well, you know, the thing about Anne is that she was both ordinary and extraordinary, and I think that's part of um, why we feel so close to her. She, But what I did find out, which I didn't really know, was that she was very difficult and that she was bossy and some of her friends resented her and she was she had a lot of ambition and she was very creative. And for instance, her older sister, who was um, more academic, more well-behaved, more beautiful, more everything, um, went to a more academic school and the family felt like that would not work for Anne. She went to a Montessori school where she was allowed to be more creative because that's who she was. I'm talking with Alice Hoffman about When We Flew Away, a novel of Anne Frank before the diary. And our conversation continues. If you appreciate this discussion, please subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you know when I post new interviews. And thank you. This is a work of historical fiction, and I wonder what the challenge was like for you to make sure you were staying accurate as possible, but using the fiction to, to fill in the blanks and tell the story yeah. of Anne Frank's life. 
You know, it's it, that's an interesting question because, you know, I've done it before. I've written historical novels, but this seemed more, I had to be more careful because so many people loved Anne. Her story was so well known. And that's why I felt so fortunate to be working with the Anne Frank house. I've worked with experts in the past and they've been great. But this, I felt like we went over everything and everything that's factual in the book is 100% checked over. But, you know, part of writing a historical novel is is invention and it's, it, it is fiction. And it's impossible to know certain things, um, no matter how much research you do. You, you don't know what people said to each other in certain circumstances. You don't know what they felt about each other. Um, and, you know, or the conversations they had or what they did in an afternoon. So a lot of it is kind of like a mystery. You know, you, you have to kind of figure out who these people are and par- partially invent that. You know, The Diary of Anne Frank was such a monumental book. I was surprised to learn that there are kids today that just aren't aware of her or her diary. Why do you think that is? You know, that's so interesting because that um, really, uh, my British editor uh, initially wanted to do this book because she felt there was so much anti-Semitism in Britain and so many kids did not know the story. And actually, right before I started, my niece is 11 and a half and she lives in Austria and I talked to her and she had never heard of Anne Frank. So I thought, you know, well, I think partially the story is not taught as much in school and partially, you know, it's very easy to forget history and um, unless you write it down. So uh, I thought it was an important time for this book uh, to kind of reintroduce people to her. And my goal was really for people to want to read the diary when they finished my novel. And the other thing we have is the passage of time. And there are fewer and fewer survivors that can give firsthand testimony to the atrocities that happened there. So is that another reason you want to write this book, to, to keep this story and keep this history in front of children in particular? I think that is really the heart of the matter, just what you just said, is that, you know, there are fewer survivors. I was very fortunate to meet with one of Anne's friends, Jackie, and talk with her. But, you know, people are, even people who are children are now, you know, in their eight, 90s and um, what happens when there are no survivors? How do we remember it? Um, and I think the more we write about it, the more we'll remember it. Well, this is a middle grade novel, so it's written for that sort of 8 to 12 year old market. But do you think this will also appeal to older readers as well? I mean, I do. I, f- I feel like it was, it was, you know, written for children, but it was meant for everyone. And whenever in the past I've written for children or young adults, I never think that I'm writing for children or young adults. I feel like I'm writing for myself. And so I think you could be an adult, you could be a child. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of the, I feel like it's a story that is not really age related and that it's not written expressly for children. Although I think children will get it in a deep way because of, because Anne is so similar. When you were doing your research, I'm sure there are many things you expected to find, but were there surprises for you, things that you didn't expect and were surprised to learn? Well, I, I, I was very surprised to find that Anne was a big lover of fairy tales, which I myself am, and that she wrote fairy tales, that her father wrote fairy tales, and that her father, Otto Frank, had studied mythology when he was at university. And that was a big connection between them, reading and writing and storytelling. And so that I had no idea about when I, when I started the book. That was really a big surprise for me and made me feel closer to her. The book is When We Flew Away, a novel of Anne Frank before the diary by Alice Hoffman. Alice, thank you for talking with me today. Thank you so much. If you'd like to purchase When We Flew Away, I've placed a link for you in the description below. If you appreciate this conversation, please subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you know when I post new interviews. Meanwhile, here are two more books you might find interesting. Thank you for watching this edition of the Kids Bookshelf. I'm Dan Skinner. Until next time, keep sharing the gift of reading.